Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator. Now, in the last episode, we built this Dodge Viper GTS. It's a absolutely stunning car. The engine looks absolutely insane, um, and I think we managed to get around about a top speed of 200 miles an hour out of it, which is pretty cool. But today, we are moving on to Bentley. So we are doing the Bentley T-Series. Um, I have a specific design in mind for this car. Um, the bodywork is actually in pretty good condition. So we don't have to worry about that too much at all. Um, so we're going to take this to the lifter. But I'm planning for a really like blacked out almost James Bond kind of style. I know the Bentley isn't a James Bond car. But I feel like that kind of style would be really good. And my room is possessed. My door just opened on its own. It's very creepy. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and drop the engine out. I've already started this, but uh, I realised I didn't actually have my mic turned on. So I wanted to do the intro again, uh, rather than edit it in. Um, so let's take these pressure plates off. Actually, we don't even need to do that. I think if we take a look at the exhaust system... If we definitely take that off, we should be able to pull the engine out right away. Move that to lift to C. And we'll pull out the engine. There we go. Engine is completely gone. So what we're going to do now is just take a look inside here. We'll take out the radiator, the brake servo and the battery. Then we'll lift it up and we'll take out all the running gear. So we can uh, we can leave that there for now. Right, so first of all, let's take off these uh, pretty nasty looking wheels. Uh, we got ourselves the hubcaps, brake calipers. Um, wheel hub bearings, yeah, they can all come out. Uh, suspension arms are good to come out as well. Um, shock absorber. Why not? Take out this front end link and take out the outer tie rods as well. Um, there's quite a lot. Obviously, the parts are very similar to other cars, which does get a little bit repetitive which is why I haven't done any of these videos for a while just because of how repetitive they started to get um, but I'm planning on doing the Bentley DLC for the entire month of April I'm um, getting that sorted out and then for next maybe June we'll move on to the I think we've only got like two more DLCs to go anyways um, so we've got to take this other wheel off now but yeah, I think we've only got two more DLCs left to go after this. So hopefully it should all go pretty well. Uh, we'll take out the hubcaps and the brake discs. There we go. Wheel hubs come out. Then we take out the front axle covers. Covers are very important. Um, I've also decided to install... Wow, I've had these thumb grips for a while, but I never used them on Car Mechanic. I've realised this thumbstick actually makes it a lot easier to select items now. Because um, it's got... It's a raised thumbstick, so it means that all the movements are sort of more accurate. It means I have to move the thumbstick more to move it, which means I can get more accurate movements. So being able to move it ever so slowly is now possible. And that's going to make playing this game so much easier. Uh, so now I think we can take the cross member out. Yep, there we go. It's all gone. Alright, let's get rid of the middle muffler. The rear muffler goes. And then we can start on the rear section of the car, taking out the wheels. Once the wheels are removed, we're going to take out all the drive axles, the brakes, which surprisingly this car doesn't have drum brakes in the back. It has disc brakes. That is very interesting. Normally these older cars would have um, sort of a different type. They wouldn't be, they would be drum brakes rather than disc brakes. So that is an interesting thing to see. Alright, rubber bushings can come out. And then we got these leaf plates to come out. Leaf springs. Uh, 
There we go. Axle arm is out. Uh, now we take out this tyre. And I think that should be everything done in terms of removing parts. Which has surprisingly gone a lot quicker than it normally does in a video. Um, it normally doesn't take this long to... Well, it normally takes a lot longer to remove parts. Um, so I'm pretty surprised by that. I set myself a huge time limit for this. And so far we are flying through. Uh, let's take this U-bolt out. Now our challenge for this is, and for the entire video, is to not miss out a single thing. Like normally we end up going to the, uh, taking the car into the dyno and taking it onto the test track. And we always forget like oil or something like that. So hopefully we don't forget it today. Um, right, let's take out the fuel pump. So this build, we're not, we're going for a restore. We're not going for performance parts at all. Um, so that is that done. Now I need to check what engines this uses. So it uses a V8 OHV. Okay, interesting. Let's go make ourselves a V8 OHV then. Uh, create new engine. Have I gone past it? Hang on, that was it there. V8 OHV. Right, so we're looking for a lot of uh, T-series parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search up T-series versus PewDiePie. Haha, <laughs> funny. Um, oh, we've got no space in the inventory. Okay, uh, give me a second. I'm going to clear my inventory quick. Right, so we've cleared all the items. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy one of every single item that is here. Um, anything else or extra, we should be able to sort out anyways. So, we're going to start off with our engine block. We're going to fit that in. Uh, and then we're going to rotate the engine upside down so it makes it easier for us to access. Okay, so we've got our camshaft going in here. Our crankshaft going in. And then we need crankshaft bearing caps and eight piston with com rods. So we need... Uh, crankshaft bearing caps, we need three of these. We're going to get four just in case. Um, we need eight rod caps. And we need eight of these with piston rings. Here we go. Eight of these. Now let's install our pistons. we got to make sure all of them are in because otherwise, well, the engine won't run. You kind of need eight pistons in a V8. Um, so yeah, let's go fit these in. Oh, camera angle's a little bit skew if there. Piston with comrades, there we go. Shoving a couple more. One more goes in there. Let's get the rod caps in. Oh. There we go. Bearing caps. These are honestly the most annoying parts of any build. Are these little fiddly things. To fit in. I see an air filter floating in the middle of nowhere. That's kind of creeping me out. Where is it? Right over there. You can see it just up there. Round air filter. Why is that a thing? There we go. And our final rod cap is in. Right, we can check the oil pan on and which oil filter do we actually need for this car. 
So we need a VAOHV oil filter. So uh, let's get one of those. Uh, you are over here. And in you go. Screwed in like that. Right, let's flip the engine round. So that we can start installing some parts onto the top. So we've got an engine head here. Uh, by the looks of it, we're going to have a lot of rocker arms. Right, so we need valve push rods. T-series. So yeah, we had valve push rods. We've already bought one of them. So we've got seven now. And then I think... Was that rocker arms? Yes, yeah, so we need another set of them, definitely. Right, let's get all these push rods in place. This is so much easier using a raised thumb grip for this game. Um, if you guys obviously haven't got a raised thumb grip... Um, sensitivity should go right down like rock bottom um, but if you do have a thumb grip um, an extended thumb grip then definitely fit one of those on because it would make your life so much easier so I want to give a I actually want to give a slight performance boost so I may go and get performance spark plugs It also gives it a little bit of colour as well. Um, I realise I bought 8 but I need 16 push rods. Uh, let's get another 8 then. There we go. Here we go. Valve push rods. In you go. Nice and easy. Got the final one going in. That was so quick this time. These thumb grips have definitely helped, that's for sure. Uh, there we go. So the rocker arms are in. And let's get that engine head cover. Uh, we also need another exhaust manifold. Um, now, we'll keep it totally stock for this. So let's get spark plugs. That's not spark. I can't spell. Spark. There we go. We need eight of you. There we go. Right, let's move on to these spark plugs now. On to the other side. Oh, I can't get it. There we go. Got it. Um, Now what do we need? Right, we need to install the power steering pump. There we go. So we need a VAOHV cam gear. Whereabouts have you gone then? Ah, there you are. VAOHV. And we need a VAOHV timing chain, which will be all the way at the bottom. Uh, timing chain. There we go. Water pump is in. Timing cover is in. And we need a... Was that a VAOHV... Crankshaft pulley. I think it was. I went a little bit too quick. We get one of each. And then we need water pump pulley. Uh, where are you? There you are. We'll chuck one of you on. Yeah, so it is OHV. That's good.
Idle roller bracket. We'll chuck one of those on. And we need a roller A. Oh, no. Idle. There we go. I can't remember whether it's A or B, so we'll get one of each. A. That was it. Right, let's get the alternator bracket in. And we're using a T-series alternator. Yep, that makes sense. Belt A is in. Belt B is in as well. Right, we need the intake manifold. We'll chuck that in. Dual carburetor for the T-Series. That looks really cool. Uh, right, so we need a fuel filter... Ignition distributor, distributor cap. And we need an ignition rotor, I think. There we go. And then we need a fuel filter as well. Uh, fuel filter. There we go. Perfect. Oh, and we need clip Bs as well. I forgot about those. Uh, clip. Two of them. Got to make sure this cap won't fall off. Not that it will do. Um, oh, we've got a radiator fan we need to put on. Uh, we've gone way past it. There we go. OHV. Uh, and then I should probably get one of each of the gearbox parts that we need. So we need a clutch plate, pressure plate, release bearing, and flywheel. Um, and then let's fit these on. Here we go. Flywheel goes in. Clutch plate. Um, this is all hidden behind light. There we go. That is all complete. The engine has been built. So what we are going to do now is we are going to build the rest of the car. Um, so we're going to go to the repair bench. We're going to... Hopefully everything gets repaired. So we failed one. Two of them have been failed. So we're going to have two random missing parts. There we go. No items to work with. Let's get on with building the car. So what we're going to do, we're going to build it from the rear first. And then anything we find that obviously hasn't been rebuilt so we're going to have rubber bushings quite a lot so I'm going to get a load of them straight away you can never have too many rubber bushings especially when you're in sandbox mode here we go fit that in Got to get the brake discs in, which cannot be replaced, actually. I have just realised. Um, so we're going to take that off, and we're going to fit new brake discs in. Uh, part mount, there we go. And brake pads. So we need four of those. 
I think the rest should be fine though. The brakes and the cylinders, I think, get repaired. Yeah, the calipers and the cylinders both get repaired, so that's good. Okay, so we're on to the rims for that bit there. Um, let's just get these rear springs. Springs also don't get repaired as well. So we need rear springs. Uh, that's front spring. That's rear spring. Uh, shock absorber caps. Those would be good as well. Go chuck those in. Um, how are we looking on rear shock absorbers? We have to get those as well. There we go. Right, uh, we also need fuel tanks. Fuel. Here we go. Fuel pump. And fuel tank. We'll go throw these in while we're at it. Oh, so the fuel pump got repaired. Okay, so we didn't need that. Uh, let's put in the rear springs. We need to make sure everything is uh, perfect. Else we'll crash. We don't want that. Spring plates. In they go. Uh, and then the U-bolts. Right, uh, let's see. Is our rear muffler looking good? No. Here we go. Our brake system has all been repaired. And we've just got our tyres to put in. So that is that bit done. So now we need to go to our exhaust. We need a middle muffler and a rear muffler VA OHV. Um, where's it gone? There we go. Part mount. Uh, VA OHV rear muffler. That's gone in. And then our middle muffler is in as well. Let's jump up to the front of the car and have a look at this. Oh. Let's go back here. Thank you. Front exhaust section. Let's go with the front suspension cross member and get all of these rubber bushings in first of all. So that we do not forget these because we always end up forgetting them. Uh, so the steering rack was one of the things that got broken, apparently. So we can sort that out in a second. Uh, what sway bar are we using? Sway bar B. Those always need replacing. Front sway bar B. And steering rack. Here we go. Oh, and tie rods. Don't forget about those. Inner tie rods are in. Oh, and front steering knuckle C. We need another one of those. Uh, sway bar front end link B. We also need two of them. Oh, double wishbone shock absorbers we've got. Ah, 
Ah, we may need to fit those on then. Uh, where are those? They are front ones, so we need... Double wishbones, shock absorber caps, and front springs. Uh, where's our spring press? Here it is. Let's join those together quickly. Uh, get on installing the rest of this suspension. There we go. Let's go grab this. Fit this in. Install. Install, install. Ah, we can't use those. So we've got ventilated brake discs on the front. And we need wheel hub bearings as well. So we've got two ventilated brake discs. Here we go, let's take these out and let's mount these back on. Brake calipers, in they go. And that is everything there. We've just got to move over to the other side. I'm going to grab the suspension ready. There we go, take that. Uh, here we go. Part mount. Right, tie rods go in. Outer tie rod. There we go. Lovely. Uh, bottom suspension arm. Yeah, very necessary parts there. Uh, upper suspension arm. That is broken. Hmm. That is much better. Here we go. Double wishbone shock absorber. Then we got our front axle to go back on. Our wheel hub. And then we are pretty much finished. We just got to drop the engine in, get the gearbox hooked up, and get new tyres on. Ah, but we are going to repaint this. Because we're going for a Bond style kind of thing. Right, so we need um, a couple of rims now. Where is the inventory? So we're looking for 225-75-15. Um, is that for front and rears? Yes, front and rears. 225-75-15. Um, let's go for two, two, five, seventy, five, fifteen. We want four of them. So we're going for sports tires, and then also we want. Do we want T series rims on there? What do the T-Series limbs... Rim, bleh, I can't speak. T-Series rims actually look like. Where even are they? T-Series. Mm. I don't really like them. What's the other Bentley ones? Oh, they're left side and right side as well. Okay, let's just go for four of these. Alright, let's go to the tyre thing. We'll install some tyres. Those are quite narrow, actually. Those are very narrow. 
Uh, let's install some more. Install those. While we wait for this to finish balancing. There we go. Give us that. And give us this one. We're going to balance that tyre. There we go. That's one tyre fitted. Uh, let's get the second one on. Right, let's go get one more tyre on this. And give us the final wheel and that will go onto the rears and then we will have all of our tires completely done so the only thing we've actually upgraded is we've gone from vintage tires to sports tires so it should be a little bit more grippy um, so we're gonna drop this down we're gonna insert the new engine and then one thing I did forget ah, we have to unmount the front exhaust section There we go. Right, let's try this then. Ah, we haven't taken the car off the engine off of here yet. Uh take engine off of crate. Install engine completely 100%. Right now let's take a look in here. We're going to mount a new radiator. Uh, we got a fixed brake servo and we need a battery now. Bats, there we go. Battery. Battery. Right, so uh, let's put these back in because uh, the game didn't want us to have that. Got our T-Series gearbox going in. Our V8 starter. And hopefully our drive shaft is in good condition. Drive shaft is in good condition as well. And that is the car completely done. All we've got to do now is put some oil in the engine and give it a test drive. Uh, where is the oil filler cap? Here it is. Come on, drink up. There we go, that's perfectly filled. Right, paint shop time. Let's go in here. Right, so we are going to paint the car in a... I want to see what a matte black would look like. So saturation minimum and then brightness. Oh, that looks very nice. Um, I do want to take a look to see if we've got any liveries. We don't even have liveries for this, but a matte black. Oh my gosh, that looks stunning. So that is the Bentley T-Series all completely built. Let's go and give this a drive at the test track. Let's take the T-Series. Oh, air filter pipe. Hmm. That's a big part missing. How have we done that then? 
Ah, we need to install the air filter first. There we go. That's more like it. Right. Now let's go to the test track. Take the T-Series with us. Hopefully the game actually loads. Because it normally takes a very long time for this. We're going to give it a little test drive. See how it performs. Um, and see what kind of speeds we can get out of it as well. Oh. It's not got a lot of power. And it doesn't turn very well either. Slalom test. It's very bad at cornering. Oh, this is a suspension test. This is going to test how well I built the suspension. Ah, pretty good. Mr. James Bond doesn't know how to drive, though, apparently. James Bond has never driven a Bentley T-Series, so I don't know why I keep referring to it as, like, a Bondmobile. And there we go. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button. It'd mean the world to me. But I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>